Hello everyone! Today I wanted to show you how to create a simple glowing logo animation in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. This is the result. And you'll be able to apply this effect not only to your logo, but also to any text in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. And we'll be using only inbuilt Resolve effects, so there's no need to install any plugins. I hope you'll like it. Let's start! And I'm already in Fusion, and I've also brought in here my graphics and other elements that I've created in Photoshop. And they're in the media pool as well. But let's close it and let me show you what I've got here. So this is my channel logo, but I don't want to animate all of it. I only want to animate the rainbow circle. So I've just separated it in Photoshop, and this is the element we'll be working on today. So let's remove the logo from the node graph. And the first thing to do is to create a media output node. So I'll select my logo and I'll hit shift space to bring up my tools. Then I'll search for the media out node and it will automatically connect to the media in node. And I'll click on this dot on the right to place it in the right viewer. And this is how we can see the final result. Now I'll click on the empty space in the node graph I will bring up the tools again and I'll search for the Edge Detect node. Then I'll connect our media in with it like this. And I will place it in the left viewer. And now we can see that the edges of the circle has been detected. But we can improve how it looks here in the inspector. So here, for example, we can change the mode from RGB edges to grayscale edges. So feel free to choose what you want as it will determine the final result but I'll leave the color for edges as it was before. It all depends on your particular case. And then I'll use these sliders here to make the edges very thin, something like this. Now we have to add our first fast noise node. So when my edge detect node is selected, I'll hit shift space and I'll search for the fast noise. And when I hit add, it will automatically connect to the edge detect node with the merge node. So let me tidy my node tree a bit. And let's maybe place the merge node in the viewer on the right now. So we can see what we are doing. And here I will increase the size. So the effect covers the whole frame. And I'll also change the apply mode from normal to multiply like this. Now let's click on the fast noise. Then let's go to the color tab over here and let's change it to gradient. And this way, we'll be seeing only the outlines that we've previously created with the Edge Detect, and they will be affected by Fast Noise. So now let's go back to the Noise tab. And here, let's change some settings. So I'll increase the detail a bit. Then I'll decrease the contrast and brightness to make the edges a bit less prominent. Then I'll maybe increase the Noise Scale. And actually, I can place my Fast Noise in the left viewer so you see, this is the noise that's affecting our logo now. And I'll also maybe increase the sieve rate here to the max. So now when we play the clip, we can see that the logo is affected by the movement of the noise. So the edges of the logo are moving, but this is only a start. So now let's click on the merge node. Then I'll bring the tools up again and I'll look for the displace node. Then I'll connect it after the merge and I'll copy and paste the fast noise node. And I'll connect it with the displace like this. Now let's place displace node in the right viewer. And in the inspector, I'll change the type from radial to XY. Then I'll decrease the X refraction. And this way we got some distortion here. So let's play it so you can see. Okay, now I'll go to the second fast noise, then I'll maybe increase the detail. Then I'll decrease the contrast and I'll also decrease the brightness. Basically, I just want to make these settings different to the ones before. I'll also decrease the sieve rate and let's play it. Okay, we can obviously always go back and forth and improve the settings at any point. Then I'll create another displace node and I'll connect it with the previous one. 
and also again I will copy the fast noise node and I'll connect it with the displays. Then I'll place my third displays in the right viewer and here I'll also change the type to XY and I'll increase DY refraction this time and this is what we got. Then I'll decrease the X refraction and when we play it, we can see that we've got this nice, a bit crazy distortion now. But also let's go to our last fast noise. And here I'll maybe increase the contrast to the max. Then I'll decrease the brightness. And I'll increase the scale. And then I'll increase the sieve rate to the max. Okay, and this is what we've got. Now let's click on the displays node and let's add a basic glow node. And let's place it in the right viewer. Then in the inspector, I'll decrease the glow size to zero. Then I'll increase the glow and maybe I'll decrease the blend just a bit. And let's play it. Okay, now you can also disable the color channels here if you want to change the color of the glow like this. So have fun with it. And if you want to make the glow effect stronger, you can add another glow node and change the settings a bit here as well. Okay, I love how it looks. So now let me move my notes a bit, as we have to add a merge node in between our media in and media out nodes. So now let's connect the glow node with the merge node. And let's change the apply mode from normal to screen. And let's see how it looks when we play it. Okay, now I'll maybe go back to my glow and I'll enable the blue channel again, as I think that the previous color looked better. And as I said before, you can always go back and forth to any node you want and you can change the settings. So I'll go back to the last fast noise and I'll change my detail, contrast, brightness and C rate settings a bit. So you can also play around with these settings as the final result depends heavily on your individual case. Okay, now I'll also show you how to apply this effect to any text, not only to your logo. So let's go back to the media in note, which is our logo. And now in order to disconnect it from the composition, we can highlight these two connectors and by clicking on them and by hitting option or alt at the same time, we can add a pipe router here. And now we can simply disconnect the logo without destroying the composition. And now I can grab a text node from here. I can connect it with the composition. And in the inspector, I'll type in something. And now when we play it, we can see that the glow effect has been applied to the text. Maybe it doesn't look amazing because we would have to change the settings accordingly. But I just wanted to show you that this is also possible. We can also change the color of the text here and so on. But now let me go back to the logo and I will also show you how to animate it a little bit more. So now for example I want to be able to rotate my logo. So right after the media in node I will add a node that it's called DVE and here in the rotation tab we can modify the rotation like this. So let me move the cursor to the frame 15 for example and let's create a keyframe on the y-axis here and then let's go back to the first frame and let's change the y-axis to minus 90. Okay and this is how it looks when we play it. Now I always go to spline, I highlight DVE, then I highlight my keyframes here and I hit S on the keyboard to make the movement a bit smoother like this. Okay, and now my logo is still missing my channel title. So I'll create another text note at the end. Then I'll also add another merge note right before the media out note. Then I will add my text note to it. Now I'll type in color grading insights in the inspector over here. I'll pick the right font, I'll change the size and I'll move it around.
okay and now I also want to animate my text I want to fade it in and normally we do it with the opacity slider but there's no opacity slider anywhere here so in order to go around it I have to add another note after the text note and this note is called brightness contrast now I'll click on this note and I'll go to the frame 30 then I'll set a keyframe next to the gain then I'll move the cursor back to the frame 15 and I'll decrease the gain and let's play the clip okay and now when the circle is rotating we can still see a bit of the text so we basically just turned it black so in order to make it transparent we just have to enable the alpha channel right here okay so now let's see the final result full screen thank you so much for watching my videos guys i hope that you like them if you do hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below see you soon